don't know if anybody at home has ever seen this setup, but it's pretty custom. What you do is you, you buy one trailer and two boats. Yesterday, backing up real fast and hitting the brakes didn't work, so we brought in an engineer. Doing a new method. New method. Teach us how it's done. <laughs> no, I'm not the engineer. No. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're actually going to back the boat, the trailer, into the water, fill this boat with water, sink it, float this boat off the top, and then bail this boat. So we'll, we're going to be here for probably two or three hours, but it's going to be worth it. <laughs> Henry David Thoreau said, many men go fishing all of their lives without knowing that it is not the fish they are after. Look at the size of that thing! I'm Dennis Isbister. For me, fishing has been a part of my whole life. From the time I could walk, I've been chasing fish and whatever adventure seemed to follow it. I'm Drew Murin, and since I was a little kid, my dad and I have fished all over the western United States together. And all I've wanted to do ever since was travel the world, have a little fun, and fish with my good friend Dennis. Did you see that, baby? <laughs> so follow along with us as we travel the remote regions of the globe in search of wild fish and wild places. A rainy day here on the Sea Tug. We're getting ready to put the boats in, but any steelheader or any foul weather fisherman should always carry these with you. Glacier Glove makes a wide array of different gloves for different seasons, for different... Dude, we're launching the boat! <laughs> for different occasions. But I'll tell you what, when it's rainy, you wanna make sure your, your hands are comfortable, so. When you pack for Alaska, pack something for every single occasion, because it all could change within a matter of minutes. Uh, wild fish, wild places, weather report is rainy all day, miserable all day, which means good fishing, usually, all day. Who started with conventional fishing first, because that's the most of the knowledge we had. Uh, Okuma has this new uh, nine and a half foot rod just for float fishing. You can run that float way down the river and let it soak a lot longer and give you a better chance to catch a fish. And we're running these maglets back there in the char. Like we can't even keep the freaking char off of it. It's crazy. That's crazy. We've changed up our strategy a little bit today. We thought, you know, when we find these fish coming up in the shallows, we're gonna stop anchor up and maybe try to get them to eat because we had a little bit of success doing that yesterday. So Drew's working those over there. Just had one chase it. I'm working this other pocket over here. I got another one on. If it's a char. Can't keep them off. I have to change colors. Dude, it's just freaking ruined. Steelhead cast. Seal had only eaten quiet times. Get up there and chat. Outside voice. Pay attention. For the love of God. Macking the fish this morning. We just got started probably about 30 minutes and we've been I, I hooked a couple of steelhead and this was working yesterday. This little magla lip uh, 2.5 gold. One hook. I cut the one off to try to be a little easier on the fish. And uh, now we can't keep the dollies off, so I'm gonna step up to the 3.0. That is. He was in the sticks, eh? Yeah, right in the middle, in those sticks. I was just swimming right off the back side of him. Swim. Well, man. Yeah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> yeah! Holy smokes! Yeah, baby! That's what we came for. Man, nice fish. That, look at that big old steelhead. <laughs> that is a long, long fish. Sheesh! It's like two inches past. Three inches past the handle. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's what we're after. Big old sea tuck steelhead right there. Look at that. That is a nice fish. <laughs> 
Just swimming that maglip right behind the freaking stick. Swimming the maglip. That was a long fish. What do you think that was? 28? Yeah, like 28. Yeah, there's those ones that were right at the handle were like 25, 26. And uh, that one was like three inches past the whole handle length. We, uh, we've been figuring out this little technique of running maglips here. And gold was working. And we switched and red. I had one on red. And then I just thought, you know what? I'm going to try a white one. We got a white and black, a little bigger. It's a 3.0. You've been running the 2.5s. But uh, yeah, we haven't been running that very long and just smashed one. That was a nice fish. That's the biggest fish of the trip so far. That's one, that's big one. So that was a big fish. Didn't fight all that much, but it was a big one. They're out in the middle. Kind of, that one was in the middle of the stream. Usually been fishing the, the woods, but. Yeah, they usually like this, but. That one was in the middle. Middle, but he was in the sticks. He was hanging out. So what that means is there's fish all throughout the river. Experience on this river is everything. You know, it, it looks like a real easy river to fish, but it's, it's kind of tricky. The currents and everything, you know, getting used to it. So having having somebody with background really means a lot. This is a big one. Ahead? Yep, this one. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. He came up to the top, right by that log there. Came right out of that stump area. Woo! That anchor's working good. Ready to get out? I'll get out. <laughs> just fishing by this stump, I just saw this big flash just come right out from back in, behind that tree. Big old chromie. They're just rockets once you hook onto them, especially the, the chrome ones down the river. They're just unbelievable. They're just rainbow trout on steroids, like they say. Oh, that thing is big! <laughs> Holy smoke! Dude, that's a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that that steelhead. Oh man, that is a big fish. Look at that tail on that thing. <sighs> Holy smokes! Oh! <laughs> oh! Look at that one. You're still longer, but that's just beautiful. Dang. <laughs> Dude, that's a big fish. Here. That's Measure a leg it. length. Measure it. Right there. What do we got? It's like in the... Right at the end. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Oh, don't break the rod. <laughs> Did you see me grab him? <laughs> don't break the rod. Keep tripping. Come on. I tripped. I tripped. Jesus, I man. Tripped. I just, I got the net. I got him. Wow. <laughs> so we got one rod left. We're tough on things. <laughs> we brought a lot of rods, a lot of reels, and you know what? We broke four out of five of our spinning rods. Uh, accidents, you know, stepping on them. We're using long, you know, really thin and, and high modulus graphite rods. So you just touch them on something and they break. Boy, there you go, and you didn't All break right. the rod. Nice work. Good fish trying to swim away. You see that little Ooh. hand grab right there? Just try. Yeah, I saw it jump Ninja. out and I saw me what? I saw me net it again. Oh, and then you grab them out and I net net. them again. I'd like to thank Dennis for pointing out where to catch that fish. You know, this guy knows a thing or two. Look him up, Dennis'sVister.com. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's not it will be starting tomorrow. <laughs> so what we did was I broke the butt end of one rod, broke the tip of the other rod, so I took the parts. I made another rod. Smart Alaska ingenuity. <laughs> it was so big we left the rod. <laughs> Throw the rod at it. <laughs> Throw the rod at it. It's too big. Oh, it's too big. <laughs> Exactly. We're rowing along, Dennis is pulling us through, and we run into some trees, and all of a sudden the back end of the boat swings into the tree. Rod goes shooting out of the boat. I'm trying to fish out in front. I'm like, Dennis, we lost a rod out the back of the boat, man. Oh my oh, god, crazy. that was too funny. How did we not break it though? That's the thing. Well, because we were Because it's an Okuma. Oh my god, oh, that was Jesus. so funny. That was so sick. Woo! Want me to drop the anchor? That was freaking awesome. He just came out. Oh, just came. Dude, I just I saw it. I only cast about three feet. 
Yeah, he just cruised out to it and just opened. I stopped it. He opened his mouth and goes. Whoop. I'm like, oh shit! Better, better set the hook. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> that was so freaking cool. That was awesome. Oh, dude, he, he's got a freaking fly in his gut. He does. Yeah. Save that. that. We might need that. Yeah. That is a pig. Look at the size of that steelhead. <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo. That thing is. He's gotta be. Oh shit, that's dirty. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> rain, lots of rain. If it's not rain, it's not steelhead. Yeah, that's a good so they say. It's gonna be a wet 14 miles today. They say the steelhead fishing's better in the rain. We're about to find out because it's raining. This is Alaska rain. You come up here to coastal Alaska, you better be ready for some rain, which we are. You gotta have good gear, all waterproof, good gloves. But the good news is when the rain turns on, so do the fish. Yesterday, right at the end of the day, we figured out something with a little jig and we heard some guys talking like if you find them, just post up on them and work them over with a bunch of different stuff, they'll eat it. So that's what we're gonna try today. We're trying to anchor up. We got a lot more uh, water in the river today. It's making it a little more difficult, uh, but we're gonna post up here, hang tight, and see if they start moving back up on these shallows and start fishing them again. Woo! This thing is up and out of the water. Yeah, this is slow water. You ready? Yep. Drop the anchor and we'll jump out. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, a big old fish. That's a nice fish, buddy. Oh, we just uh, had one on about 30 minutes ago, too. Broke off. This fish so we've had so just big. Really good action in the rain this morning. Just hammering them. Hammer, look at that fish. God, I love this fishing. This is just <laughs> unreal. Look at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> look at that one, baby. That's a huge steelhead. God, they're all this size, they're too. All. I mean, you want to catch 30 incher after 30 incher. Yes. Bam. Nice hook set, too. We just got in there. Wham. And then you can tell we're catching, catching quite a few dollies, too, but. You can tell when you set the hook on one of those steelhead, it's on. It there. doesn't move. It's any bead right now. You don't even have to really fish tight to the bank when Dennis found out because you get snagged up all the time. Just, they'll come out and get it. Yeah, yeah. We're st we're fishing pretty. We're not. The first day we were here, we were getting real aggressive, right in the trees, like trying to get tight. We we're just losing rig after rig after rig, and now we're like, you know what? We're just gonna fish out from the bank and the riffles, and they're there too, and they're eating. Your turn. My turn. This is the biggest part of the trip. Oh, oh, thing is huge! Oh, thing is like, oh, oh, oh. This is like, this is like, this is a monster! This is 35 inches. Oh, dude. Watch out, there's a log right there. Okay. Keep him out. Get him? This guy, you're right on the log. Can you get him out of there? Hold on. Walk them backwards. You want me to over there? Hold on, I gotta get around this log. Okay, he's out. Okay. Take him that way though. Right. Oh, oh no! Oh. He was wrapped on that log, I had to get him out of the log. Yeah, that, was, that thing was that long. Dude, that thing was Did he break you off? Yeah. I'm trying to get him wrapped up. That's on his holler, like, is, he, is there something there? Ah! 
it really ah! broke? Awfully cool. uh, it bro no, it broke. It broke the whole thing. Shit. Wrap me on that log. Look at I've heard a lot about how the rain is good for the fishing here. It turns the fish on. So we woke up third day, it's pouring rain. It's been raining all night. We thought, okay, it's gonna be a tough day for filming. It's gonna be a tough day for staying warm. The fishing's gonna be on. And, and sure enough, we get there, we start running beads with the fly rods right away. Boom, boom. I mean, we hammered fish. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, he's up and out! Hey, I'm taking this down a little farther below these sticks. This is a hot one! Hot fish! Oh my god, they're jumping everywhere! Well, oh, that's my fish. Taking him to the left here. Oh, he's coming at me, coming at me, coming at me! Come at me. Bobber gone. Set the hook. Bobber disappeared, set the hook. And my bobber's swimming by me and I'm trying to strip him. <laughs> oh, then he's flying out of the water, he's jumping down. I'm, my line's over here, he's jumping down there. Pretty much uh, typical. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Yeah. Get back! He's a monster! He's out of control! Control your fish, <laughs> sir. I tried that hole. I can't see him, it's so dirty right now. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy cow! What a fish, Drew! Oh! <laughs> oh, what a toad, huh? Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful fish, huh? On the beat pattern. Good partner. Let me tell you, these fish are on and it's right. <laughs> I mean, you can see, you better have some good gear, good rain gear and waders when you come up here. But. Uh, this fishing in the rain, it's worth it, huh? Yeah. Oh man, the best part about it is you hook these fish, they're so big. <laughs> kind of scares you a little bit. And they're just ripping, you're trying to keep them out of the sticks. And it's basically just hold on for dear life. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, beautiful day today. The sky's blue. Partly cloudy, the sun was up this morning. You gotta be ready for anything because it was pouring rain one minute, then the sun's out the next minute, you're wearing buffs covering up, sunscreen up. So when you pack for Alaska, pack something for every single occasion because it all could change within a matter of minutes. Weather can like the rain. Yeah. Weather is completely different than anything we've seen so far on this trip. We got the sun's out, it's a little foggy. The weather looks beautiful, which I don't know is very conducive to catching fish, but oh yeah. I told you I was going to catch one right there. Saw that go down and whack. Oh yes. Big old cromer. Yeah, baby. It's crazy. These steelhead fight so different from like a, like a big trout. Like a big trout hits it and just blows you up at first. And then, woo! There you go. Oh yeah. Man, they That's slow fun, down. Man. These fish, they hit it. You kind of got to get them going, and then they freak out and do this. That's a good fish, buddy. Oh. Dude, he just jumped out. <laughs> He's so big. <laughs> That's a good fish. You can only pack so big a net. Oh, He's a fat one. Yeah, nice fish. That one right there. Chrome oh, up too. <laughs> Look at that yeah. buddy right there. You start hooking 10, 12, 15 pound fish and you set the hook and all of a sudden your line's pointing this way and the fish is jumping like 30 yards, 40 yards downstream and you're trying to control these things and take them out of the sticks and holding on for dear life. I swapped out some fishing information for some red vines. <laughs> and um, basically he said, hey, there's steelhead in this river. I was like, well, that's a good trade. We'll be here retying. <laughs> we'll be here retying when we're ready. One of the things about these drift boats is they don't have they don't have any storage on them anywhere. The so tackle webs makes a cool little deal. 
We just hung it off right here so you could work on it. The guy back here rowing, we gotta put our boxes and all our gear in here that we're using over and over because if you're coming up here, you're gonna be breaking a lot of stuff off. These fish just sit in the logs. If you're fly fishing, you know the difference between a roll cast and an overhand cast. But here, the river is so small that most of the day, you're just making a big roll cast and just trying to flop it down in front of the boat. As soon as you back cast, you're breaking off again. The camera! The camera. Oh, you gotta roll, man! <laughs> Back there. Anchor. Don't panic. Oh, yeah. That's a nice buck, too. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, though, in this fast water. Keep in that left slack water. All right. That, is our anchor down? Yeah. Get him. Get to dig him up. <laughs> Good scoop. Look at how colorful he is. Wow. Holy crap. Picture that one. That thing is beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> beautiful. Just came right out of the sticks and ate it. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Steelhead fishing is addictive, <laughs> to say the least. It's giant fish. They pull super hard and they're very elusive great time up here at Leonard's Landing. We will be back. I can't wait to get back next May. Get up here. We'll see you here.